Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7c practice problem on the topic of mirrors. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like. Your endorsement really helps this channel. So this is the problem that we're going to be solving. Uh, Rosette has an unusual spherical mirror that is reflective on both the concave and the convex side, both of which have the same radius of curvature. When she places a 4.5 uh, centimeters tall figure in 24 centimeters from the mirror, the resulting image is inverted and 6 centimeters tall. So the first thing that we have to answer is uh, what is the radius of curvature of Rosette's mirror? Okay, so I have all of the information over here. So we basically have some sort of mirror that is uh, reflective on both the uh, concave. So these are some notes that I you know, I had to like go through the DLs myself before being able to answer these problems. So it's both reflective on the concave and the uh, convex side, but because it's the same uh, mirror, both sides of the mirror have the uh, same radius of curvature. Now for this first part, we don't really know if uh, Rosette is looking at the uh, concave part or the convex part. So we, what we're asked to do is basically find the uh, radius of curvature. So let's look at the information. Oh, and these three equations were given on the quiz. As usual, for, these, for all of these quizzes that I'm answering, the empty PDF version of the quiz is available in the description of the video. So if you guys want to uh, print it out and um, so that you can answer on the, like, the actual quiz, then uh, go ahead, that's absolutely great. So if she places a 4.5 centimeter tall figure in, then this is the object and it's 4.5 centimeters tall. So the uh, height of the object is 4.5 centimeters. And it's 24 centimeters from the mirror. So this is uh, object or what we call O over here is 24 centimeters and it's positive because it's the object so it's always positive. I just read the DLs so um, I'm sure this is what we do for 7c. And the resulted image is inverted and 6 centimeters tall. So the height of the image is negative 6 centimeters tall because from my notes uh, from the L if the image is inverted, uh, it is with respect to the object, so negative 6. I can't use this equation to find f. Oh, well, first of all, what I'm trying to do is find f, because by definition on spherical mirrors, two f's, um, two focal points in terms of distance equals the radius of curvature. So if I can find f, then I can uh, very easily multiply by 2 and get R. I can't use this definition because I have O, but I don't have I, so I would get stuck. So I think that what I have to do is use this uh, magnification equation first, and then um, so that then I can find I, so then I can find F. So using my magnification equation, I have both of the H's, so let's just go ahead. M is equal to HI over HO. So this is equal to negative 6 over 4.5. So negative 6 over 4.5 is equal to, let's say, negative 6 over 4.5. Oh goodness, negative 6 over 4.5. So it would be one, negative 1.33 magnification. But then there's also this relationship between the magnification and the distances. So this uh, 1.3 is also equal to negative i over o. So 
if we can, so let me just write it here. 1.33 is equal to negative i over o. So the negatives cancel out and i is basically 1.33 times o, which is 24. So i is equal to 32 centimeters. So now that I have i, what I'm gonna do is try to find f by using this equation. So one over f is equal to one over i, so one over 32 plus one over O, so one over 24. And the task here is to find F. So whenever I have these equations and you know, you go ahead and do this whatever way you want. But what, whenever I have these equations and I need to find something that's on the denominator, what I do is I just multiply everything times the common denominator you are allowed to use a quiz, uh, you're allowed to use a calculator on a quiz. So honestly, I just multiply everything and that just makes it so much easier for me. If you have another technique, go ahead, that's great. Uh, so I will basically do 32 times 28 and I will multiply, you know, as silly as it sounds, I would just multiply everything times uh, 768F. Um, so seven, six, eight, F divided by F goes away. And then, um, so this would be 24 F plus 32 F. See how just doing this, even though it sounds silly to multiply it, you, you don't have to think about it. So that's usually what I do. Um, so this two, 32 plus 24 is equal to 56F. So F is equal to 768 divided by 56, 13.71 centimeters. So now that I have this, all I have to remember is this a oh goodness is this equation which is just that if i multiply by 2 i get r so r is equal to 2f so r is equal to this answer times 2 so 27.42 centimeters final answer Now, another result that it's important is that we got a positive number. So this, this is a positive number that we got. So that means that this side of the mirror is the concave side because the uh, concave side is the one that has F as positive. So If we had gotten the a negative number, then that would be fine, but that would just mean that we are on the convex side. And this is important because the instructions for part B say, if Rosette then spins the mirror around without moving either the figurine or the mirror, how large is the resulting image? Well, so now, um, we're going to have the same R, which means that we have the same F, except that our new F is a spin around. So now we're working on the convex side. So now we have negative 13.71 centimeters. Also, this is the same object. So the height of the object is still 4.5 centimeters. And the instructions also say without moving either the figurine or the mirror. So this distance is the same, uh, this height is the same, I'm sorry, and the uh, distance, so O, is still 24 centimeters. So we basically have to find how large is the uh, resulting image.
So how large is, um, so we're trying to find HI basically. HI is um, how large. So let's see. The first thing that we can do is, since we have F and we have O, we can definitely use this equation for starters to find our I. So let's go ahead and do that. Because if I use uh, this equation, I'm going to get stuck because I don't have either I or HI. And this equation is, you know, it's not really useful at all. So I'm going to start with this one, try to find I, and then see if I can use this one to find HI. So let's see, 1 over F is equal 1 over I plus 1 over O. So negative 1 over 13.71 is equal to uh, 1 over I plus 1 over 24 uh, centimeters, centimeters, yes, I can just do 24. So again, just multiply everything. 13.71 times 24. 329.04i. Multiply everything times the common denominator. So this is going to be um, negative 24i is equal to 329.04. Um, no i here. Plus 13.71i over here. So this um, goes to this side. No, let's just send this one to this side. 24 plus 13.71, negative 37.71i is equal to 329.04. So i is equal to negative 329.04 divided by 37.71, 8.72 centimeters negative, which means that this image is a uh, virtual image. So now that we have this, let's use our magnification equation. So magnification is equal to negative i over o, so negative, negative 8.72 divided by uh, 24. So magnification is equal to 8.72 divided by 24, 0.36. But then magnification, is also equal to HI over HO, which means that HI is equal to 0 0.36 times HO, which is uh, 4.5. So my final height is 0 0.36 times 4.5, 1.62 centimeters final answer all right so this is the this is the end of the quiz overall it was a very easy quiz like i said there are different techniques to solving this i just you know if you have a calculator why don't you just like multiply and then just subtract the numbers right if you're not doing it in your mind then who cares if you're multiplying times 700 and something if in the end everything is just going to get resolved in like two steps if you do it this way but if you have some other little, you know, interesting way in which you solve this denominator um, equations, definitely let me know uh, in the comments down below. If you guys have any questions, also let me know. And if you found this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.